Today we're going to be talking all about shoes specifically high heels. A couple of weeks ago, I released a shoe collection video and you guys loved that. So I figured why not talk about the heels today because that's what we really all care about. I'm gonna share all of my high heels and rank them from least to most comfortable. I think that this is gonna be a helpful video because it's always nice to see how other people rate their shoes on like a comfort level. And I'm also talking about such a wide array of different heels. I've got sandals, I've got closed toe, pointed toe, round toe, boots, chunky, heel, stiletto, like everything. Because we're busy doing all of the things that we want to accomplish in life and we need comfortable, stylish heels to do them in. I'm also gonna talk about why each specific shoe is ranked where it is in terms of comfort. While of course, shoes are meant to bring us joy, it's better when they're also comfortable, in my opinion, because if I need to walk four blocks, I wanna be able to do so and not die. You know what I mean? If you're new here or if you're a returning subscriber, welcome. My name is Lisa Gabrielle and I make videos on fashion and beauty and wellness and lifestyle and all that kind of stuff and I am so happy to have you here today. So if you like that kind of content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button right now and ring the bell so you can join the family. I'm also gonna leave my Instagram and TikTok in the link down below if you wanna check me out on there. That's pretty much it for housekeeping. Make sure to stick around until the end so that you can tell me your thoughts and let me know what your favorite pair is. Let me know your thoughts on comfort in general in heels. Is it something that you strive for as well? Or are you more focused on the style itself? Okay, I'm gonna start from least comfortable and I'm gonna work my way up to most comfortable. So the least comfortable pair, not surprisingly, are my Louboutins. They are absolutely stunning, but they're not very comfortable. These are the Pagal heels in 100 millimeters in the patent leather, very much a stiletto, but it's not the thinnest heel at Louboutin. It's a pretty moderate arch in terms of heels. It's not too, too crazy. But what really gets me about these shoes is the patent and the the point. The combination is very painful. Now, I love patent leather nude pumps. I think there's something so beautiful and stunning about the aesthetic, and so I'm happy that I got these for that reason, but they're definitely not the type of shoes that I want to wear to weddings or any type of situation where I know that there could be a little bit of walking involved. These shoes are not made for walking. <laughs> the patent and the point is just, it's killer. So just an FYI for the lubes, they're not the most comfortable even though these are the most comfortable for my foot type because I tried so many Louboutins on. In fact, if you're curious about Louboutins in general, I have some really great videos. One of them is a review on these. And then I also have a guide to picking your most comfortable pair for your feet. So feel free to check those out. I'll leave them in the description as well. So the next pair that is the second least comfortable are my Steve Madden sparkly glitter shoes from eons ago. I kept these because they hold a nostalgic place in my heart, but what's uncomfortable about them is obviously the fact that they are stilettos, but more than that, it's the straps. It's a lot of places that are just putting pressure onto your foot. The leather, I'm not sure if it's leather or pleather, but the material inside is also very tough, just rubbing against your foot in all of these different places. It's not comfortable. Totally doable for a couple of hours, but definitely not my go-to walking shoe. Just beware of any type of heel that has like lots and lots of straps. I find more strappy, especially thin straps, is generally not the most comfortable. Okay, so this next pair are probably the most shocking because they're very low and the heel is very chunky, but these are actually from Le Chateau. They're also very old, but I kept them in my closet because they're very unique and they fill a gap in the wardrobe. But the one thing that's insane uncomfortable about them is this peep toe which is like the whole concept of the shoe but the peep toe like the leather just digs into your toes so so firmly it's not cute um so i don't know this leather is just it's not very soft i've had this for a very long time and it's never softened i do find that if i wear them a couple of times in a season they'll soften within that time but i don't wear them enough to have that so what and whenever i do end up breaking them out they give me blisters city. That's why even though they have this gorgeous chunky heel, they're still ranked number three. Like I put stilettos ahead of these guys in terms of comfort, which we'll talk about now. So the next pair on my list are my Stuart Weitzman nudist song pumps. 
I actually have them in two colors because I just love this shoe. It's such a classic silhouette. I just think that it's never gonna go out of style. Like you can't go wrong with this shoe. There were a couple of videos on YouTube that circulated that inspired me to buy this shoe because I thought it was gonna be wildly comfortable. I think the title was like most comfortable heel and I was just completely shook that this person was calling this stiletto with this little strap comfortable. But I was like, oh my God, it sounds so good. And they're so beautiful. Beautiful, I have to try them. Now I did purchase these on the real real, which is a, such a great hack to get shoes in near new condition at like half the price. Definitely recommend that if you're looking at purchasing some more expensive designer shoes. People often will wear their shoes once and then put them for sale, especially if they realize how uncomfortable they are. <laughs> but these are pretty medium, I would say, in terms of comfort. The shoe is really well made. The leather is nice and soft. It is a really thin strap though, and the stiletto is also quite thin and then also this strap baby thin i think it's even smaller than this one it's like dental floss but the arch isn't too too crazy i would say i could probably walk and i have walked five blocks before they started to really hurt. I did wear these to my birthday actually, and I did take them off at one point, but that was just because my friends like begged me to. I could have made it, I could have made it is my, my point here. They're not like wow comfortable, but they are doable in terms of stilettos. They're pretty reasonable. So next are these Zara shoes. These are closed shoe pointed toe pumps with a stiletto heel. And they are, I'd say they're pretty much in the middle in terms of my list. They're not comfortable for walking long distances in because the pointed toe it's quite constrictive but is as far as stilettos go they're not bad. I'd say they're maybe like four inches or just under four inches. The shoe even though I believe it's like an imitation suede and an imitation leather it's pretty flexible. They're pretty good for a pointed toe pump. They're pretty good. I think with anything, you really also have to break the shoe in. I'd say I can probably go about four hours wearing these before they start to really kill. So four hours is pretty good standing in heels, in my opinion. But yeah, that's these guys. Next up, we have my gorgeous Steve Madden boots. These are also a pointed toe. This is real leather. And then they've got this super fun, chunky heel, which makes them a lot more comfortable. Now the pointed toe is, again, not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I love, love the pointed toe aesthetic. I think these boots are so classy. They kind of offset the chunky heel. Like when you've got a chunky heel and a round toe, it gives more masculine vibes, I feel, which is totally fine. And and that's also having its own moment right now, but this pointed toe balances the chunky heel in a way that I think will transcend trends a little bit better. So they've got a little zipper here and the leather inside is very, it's like suede inside and then leather outside, very soft, broke them in pretty quickly and I can wear these pretty much all night, no issues. So maybe six or seven hours and they're pretty warm too because they're leather. So big fan, I love these boots. I think everyone needs a pair of good heels heeled chunky boots for the fall. So next for comfort are these super chunky platform heels. Now they're not number one because the platform itself makes it a little bit more challenging to walk on. It's kind of giving me stilt vibes a little bit, but obviously the width of the heel and the fact that the platform makes the arch a lot less steep because you know, realistically, this is the heel. They're pretty comfortable. So it gives you a lot of height. I definitely recommend a pair of shoes like these for short girls. I am 5'5", five five, so I'm kind of middle ground. So I can get away with it without being, you know, towering over people, but it gives me a good amount of height. In terms of comfort, like they're not the best quality of shoe, but for for what they are, they're pretty comfortable because of the platform and the thickness of the heel. These are such a trend item though. I definitely wouldn't recommend picking them up for an expensive price. I think if you find them for a deal, then go for it. But these were super in a few years ago and that's when I purchased them. And then they were super not in for several years. And then they came back in style recently. I still haven't worn them though. I guess I could pair them with socks and wear them in the fall. I'm gonna do that. Okay, second to most comfortable, I have my Stuart Weitzman Highland boots. I love these so much. They're so stunning. They're full suede and they've got the perfect heel, the perfect toe. It's not pointed, but it's such a classy kind of rounded shape that I think, again, will never go out of style. And, you know, last year, this style of boot kind of like wasn't all the rage, but it's back. It's back. I knew it would be back. 
I remember last year it was all about the slouchy boot look and now we're kind of having this anything goes just high boots in general so these are back slouchy boots are still okay just anything statement boots I've actually made a video dedicated to all of the best 2022 2023 fall winter trends so if you want to check that out I'm also gonna leave that in the description down below where I talk all about boots and more but yeah these are so comfortable they're very warm heel itself is a great thickness and height I think it's a little bit under four inches and because the toe itself isn't pointed it puts a lot less pressure on my toes than the larger chunkier like Steve Madden booties they definitely stretch so I think I sized down a size I think these are a size seven they're a size seven I sized down these are incredibly comfortable I love them and I couldn't be happier with them I I don't even like you know when you love something so much you don't have words for them that that's how I feel about these shoes the moment is here guys these are my most comfortable heels these are the Sam Edelman Yarrow heels and I love them. I really really love them I anytime like these are my wedding shoes These are my if I'm going on vacation and I just want to pack one pair of shoes like heels Then I'm gonna pack these guys. If I know I'm gonna be walking, but I also want to wear a heel these guys They just fit the bill the fact that you've got such a thick heel and then also such a thick strap on the foot This is also very comfortable and the leather is buttery soft And I think that that's a really key factor in terms of whether or not a shoe is going to be comfortable because it's literally like it's butter it's so so soft now these shoes are kind of falling apart because i've worn them so many times but i picked these up basically because i wanted a more comfortable version of this shoe so like while they kind of have the same style not the same aesthetic but the same style this is obviously just a much more comfortable and sustainable version of this shoe so if you want something that's drama and you're okay with having a little bit of discomfort then go for it but if you want something that's just like a great go-to comfortable shoe that you can walk in and last the whole night in like the last time I wore these was to a wedding and it was literally from 6 p.m. until 1 a.m. I don't know but I didn't take them off my feet basically I think I was the only woman there who didn't take my shoes off and I was so proud I was like it's because I went for sustainable shoes guys that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that this was helpful let me know if you have a pair of super comfortable heels that you swear by and maybe I'll add them to my collection or maybe someone else in the comments will see that and they'll add them to their collection as always i love to hear your thoughts so anything you have to say leave it in the comments down below if you like this video don't forget to like it hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can join the family and if you want to go check out any of the other videos that i mentioned they're also in the description box along with my instagram and tiktok all right that's it for me thank you guys i love you and i will see you in the next one bye